Hey guys, howdy there. Welcome to the new bathroom. <laughs> we have absolutely nothing in here yet. Uh, we're still moving in, but I simply had to film this video in here because, well, we have a patio that gets sun. So y'all girls gonna go lay out. But before we do that, I wanted to show you guys my actual like hot day mainly my beach day routine. How I get ready for the beach, what I do with my multiple sunscreens, what I would typically wear, all that good stuff because thus far all the summer videos I've posted, I've been like, this is cute summer makeup, but I wouldn't wear this outside. So that's not really helpful for you guys. I wanted to show you what I actually wear outside, which is nothing except that we have this giant zit with its own area code on my forehead right now. So this is like the minimal makeup that I would do on days like this where I just want to feel fabulous, but I don't want to be melting off at the same time. So it's, it's kind of a, a multiple thing in one. I'm already sweating, so I just wanted to note that I am wearing the Alana X Saltwater Bikini Top in Oibifa. And this is very typical for me. I've had this little cover up for almost two years now. It's from a brand called Assembly Label and they're from Australia, I think. I bought it from a store in Vancouver, a random little boutique. Don't remember what it's called, um, but uh, yeah, it is old, but there might be similar things. I'll try and link that. And then just some, some jean shorts for you. So this is what I would typically wear while I'm strolling to and fro. I might just like do up a button or two. Um, and this is what I would just usually wear for a little beach day. Note that I'm not wearing any jewelry. I don't, like unless I'm specifically taking some photos, I don't wear jewelry. I don't want any of those tan lines. <laughs> I'm not going in like sand and water and dirt, sweat, whatever with all of that. And also if you're wearing precious metals, they can get really hot and burn you. So I just usually take all of my jewelry off when I'm getting ready for the beach. Oh, sorry, let me move that out of the way. So we're primarily gonna be naked here, okay? Another thing I've done, I just, I don't know what this looks like on the back, but I just wrapped my hair in two different wraps and clipped it so that hopefully by the end, we'll have a cute little little wave going on, even though when I'm sweating and I'm at the beach, my hair is usually just in a bun on top of my head, but I'm trying to use these clips to be more hair health conscious. So let's dive in, let's get ready. My lips are so dry. I'm gonna start with the Fresh Rose Petal Lip Cream. Was it? Yeah, Petal Soft, sorry, lip cream. I'm gonna put that on my lips. Oh. Get that juicy juice on there. <laughs> Stunning, hydrated, oh, that feels good. Then I'm just gonna give my face a quick spritz with the Caudalie Grape Water Spray. This is my little travel size one. And I'm just gonna soak my face beforehand so that all the products you put on top will just soak in extra wetly. <laughs> Okay, let's talk sunscreen. I use many different sunscreens on different parts of my body, different SPF levels, depending on what I'm doing. I'm a big SPF 30 gal. I love an SPF 30. I don't mind reapplying. I will sit and reapply all day long as I need, but I love SPF 30. I feel like I still get a good tanned glow with it. However, on my hands, if you guys weren't aware, I had a horrible third degree burn on both of my hands from limes the good old margarita burn back in October in 2019, if you missed that video. I'll put the little story time video here for you. It was crazy, it was horrible, and now those patches of my skin, I, like you can just see how thin and white and like wrinkly they are, so I put an SPF 60 on my hands, if not higher, and I also do the same for any like larger scars. I've got a couple really big scars on my legs that I've been putting a, a higher SPF, but the rest, I just do an SPF 30. And this portion of the video is sponsored by Neutrogena, but I can't express to you enough how long I tried these out before accepting this sponsorship and how much I love this sunscreen. You guys, if you remember last year, we did the partnership with them on their body lotion. It is succulent, I love it so much and they have their Hydro Boost sunscreens. These are the Hydro Boost water gel sunscreens. I have them in 30 and 50. I mainly use the 30, but sometimes if my chest is popping, I put the 50 on my chest. This is fabulous. It's made with hyaluronic acid, glycerin, vitamin E. It just makes your skin feel so hydrated. There is not an ounce of white cast with these sunscreens. So it's fabulous under makeup and just, it feels so good. It's literally like water gel. My friends, it is a gel indeed. Look at that. 
Ugh. And it's just hydrating on the skin at the same time. It's so amazing. It feels so good. Look, I'm like applying so much and you don't see anything on my skin. It also smells really, really good. And for me, I have really sensitive skin. A lot of sunscreens don't work for me. A lot of them give me that like burn tingle, that horrible sunscreen feeling that I just don't appreciate on my body. This one doesn't. And, and it's just... It's fantastic, I've been loving it so much. And one thing I didn't know is it is face and body. You can just bring one tube. Normally I'm bringing like so many different sunscreens around with me, but you can use this on your face and body. So if you're, I don't know, on a long stroll in the summer heat, if you're on vacation, what have you, and you only have room for one bottle, well, you can apply this all over. It's fantastic. So thank you so much Neutrogena for bringing the Hydra Boost Water Gel sunscreen into our lives. Neutrogena, girlfriend. That's the sunscreen, guys. Essential first step. That one's great for under makeup. Now let's talk about makeup. Again, I want to address the, the elephantes in the room. When I'm going out in the sun, even if I have a lot of zits, I still just want a really light base. I am very sweaty. I can't express to you how sweaty I am. I'm gonna put this clip again. I've already shown it to you. The sweat is real. So I wanna make sure that my, my makeup is in light bases on the skin and that I'm not gonna sweat it off and have any crazy chunky lines. If I'm sweating it off, I just want it to go seamlessly through. So I use a really, really light base. So for the base, I'm gonna just make a really giant concoction of a bunch of different things. But we're gonna make it as sheer and bronzy and glowy as possible. So I'm gonna start with the Vesca Beauty Soft Sun Radiant Skin Primer. This one's in the shade Sunrise. I'm gonna take a lot of that. You know what, I'm gonna put an extra little dibble of the sunscreen in there too. And then, this is new. I'm so excited about this, you guys. Could it be the replacement for the Drunk Elephant Umber Tint? <laughs> Bronzing drops, sunlight drops, sunlit drops. You know what I'm talking about. Indeed Labs came out with nano bronze bronzing drops. How exciting is this? What a cute little bottle. So I'm gonna take a pump of that. Ooh, that's dark. Maui, wowie. Um, and let's see how this little bronzy. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, yeah, perfect. This little bronzy base. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So basically I'm just gonna put this, this is like a really <laughs> thick layer of moisture and delectableness. Oh my God, that feels amazing. Just making a lovely little glow all over the face. And then what we're gonna do is take a really sheer concealer. This one's the Glossier Stretch Concealer. This is in the shade G8. And I'm just gonna kind of use this as a concealer, but also like, just an extra layer of coverage all over the face. So I'm gonna take this with my brush and just really sheer it out all over the skin. And then it kind of just blends into that really nice thick hydrating base that we just put all over the skin. And because it's a really sheer concealer, you're not gonna be getting anything that's like too crazy and heavy. We're just gonna take a little bit of extra of that and just put it right, right on the skin. <laughs> Put a little bit of extra just right underneath the eyes as well. Like there's really nothing I can do to just hide this giant Mount Vesuvius on my forehead, but we'll do our best to just tone down the red. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for the coverage. Just letting my skin soak in whatever's going on there. Trying our best to just help the little situation here and just have an overall really hydrated and glowy and sun protected base. For the rest of the makeup, I always stick to cream for the same sweaty reasons. I'm gonna take my Nude Sticks Bondi Bay. This one's just a really great color match for me. It's one of my favorite products to use in the summertime. And I'm just gonna blend that out. I've been finding myself, like even if I'm not wearing any makeup, I know this is terrible, but I still put something on my cheeks, like a little bit of contour, a little bit of bronze. It ain't never hurt nobody. So I'm just blending that onto the cheekbones. I just love to be chiseled and bronze. There's nothing wrong with that, right? It's just the feeling I like to have. <laughs> just put a little bit of that over the nose and I'll just take the excess of the brush and just put it on the lids too. Nothing crazy, just a little hint of bronze over the face. Then for the highlight, I'm gonna take Hey Honey. 
a classic, a nude sticks classic. And just with my finger, put that on the tops of the cheekbones. We're gonna be sweating and glowing naturally, but you know, let's try and amp it up a little bit where we choose, <laughs> not where our sweat tells us. Just a little bit of highlight, a little bit of extra glow. And then finally for blush, one of my good old favorite blushes, Sunset Strip. So what I'm gonna do with this is just put a little bit on the apples of the cheeks and then I'm just gonna like rub some on the lips too. We will address that more later. But for now I'm just gonna take my finger and just like rub that over the lips so it has that blurred out monochrome feel. Mm -hmm. And then just blend out the blush. Make sure to take a little bit on the top of the nose too. Okay, then we're gonna switch over to brows quick. I'm taking this MAC, whoo, there we go, the MAC brow set. I'm not gonna be too concerned about my brows, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of clear brow gel and just run that through my brows and just take my finger and push them up afterwards. I don't usually fill in my brows on a beach day, honestly, but maybe just for the sake of the video, I'll just take a little bit of a pencil and run it through. When I'm wanting a lighter brow day, I go for my Dior Show pencil. Just the color in particular is good for a, a light brow day for me. I'm gonna take a little bit of lip liner and just intensify the lip line a little bit and just smudge that in and kind of just add a little bit more depth there. For mascara, if you want to use waterproof mascara, go for it. Do your thing while mama make a roll. I'm gonna take my Marc Jacobs at Lashed and just put the littlest bit, like just a little boop, just to add a little something something to the lashes. If I was like planning to swim or, you know, if I was actually going to a beach specifically, I wouldn't really put any mascara on because I just don't want to have to worry about that at all. And that is pretty much it for the makeup, guys. A very, very light, natural makeup that will somewhat survive the heat. Now for the body, what I normally like to do, like I pack my sunscreen and I'll put my body sunscreen on once I am at my destination. Um, I usually just do a little layer on my chest when I'm applying it to my face. But for like the limbs and things, I'll take a lotion and some body oil and mix that all in. This is the Caudalie Nourishing Body Lotion. This is what I'm making my way through right now. I'm almost done it. Can you guys see? I have like this much left. It actually went really quickly. I feel like I've only been using it for like three weeks. <laughs> and this is the Ren Moroccan Rose Oil, Moroccan Rose Auto Body Oil. I'll take a little pump of that in there. And then just for fun, I'm gonna take those Indeed Labs bronzing drops. <laughs> Put that in there too, mix it all up. And I'm gonna put that all over my chest and my arms. I might have to get a little naky for this part. Sorry to anyone who can see me out of my window. And then if you wanted to feel extra fabulous and fancy, you could always take your cream highlight and just put it right onto the collarbones here. And then just onto the tips of the shoulders for a little bit of extra glow which is silly of me because I'm about to put my cover up on to complete this look. <laughs> oh no, I dripped the concoction on my bathing suit. See, I can't be trusted with anything. <laughs> Spill on everything. <laughs> then we're gonna take our hair out, see what hath wrought here. Oh, that was kind of cute. It kind of did a little, little twisty twist. Don the cover up. And that, my friends, completes my little extra fancy, slightly elevated, true, Hot summer beach day, get ready with me. Let me just do a little tuck here. I am just schwitzing. That's everything I used for this lovely light little base, a few things that I put on my body, and just a typical little beach day outfit. So let me know what you guys think of this look. What is your go-to summery minimal makeup look? What's your fave sunscreen? And what kinds of things do you like to put on your face and body when you are 
going out in the heat. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope it was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments down below what other videos you'd like to see from me, what other makeup looks you'd like to see me do. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. I hope that we're all getting some summer sun and enjoying this last sweet month or two of summer or whatever weather you have, wherever you are in the world. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you all very soon for a new one. Bye!